Alrighty, today is September 8th, 2017. The storm has not hit yet out here. It, um, we don't know when it'll hit, how bad it'll be, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna film some of it. This is the lake I live next to, and it'll probably be flooded pretty soon. Yeah, that sign is real. I've seen the gator a bunch of times. Right, this is the lake that I live next to. This is pretty low right now. It's maybe a foot of water in there. Last year when Hurricane Matthew hit, it was up to quite a bit higher. In fact, where the this used to be a walkway right there, it was flooded up to about this area. I have no idea where this log came from. I really have no idea. But <laughs> it's a good indicator for water. I've seen people fish out here all the time. I've seen gators out here a bunch. I'm fairly certain that they breed and lay their eggs over there. Let's see how this is after this after the storm hits. Hi hey, Tiger. Storm clouds off in the distance. Slightly cool breeze coming in. No rain yet. I did get some supplies, some paper towels, some liquor, good stuff, you know. Alrighty, topped off my gas tank, got some uh, energy drinks. Now off to work. I am working today. I have no idea about the rest of the week. Alright, it's raining a little bit. Not a whole lot. Can't tell if this is just a sun shower or if this is actually part of the storm. I am at work. This is my work parking lot. This is empty for work. I have no idea. I guess a lot of people just are not here today. I do have work today. No idea about tomorrow or the next day. But I am at work today. Alrighty, it is Sunday. The hurricane is hitting today. It is apparently hit in the Keys and now part of Tampa. It's just raining out here. I don't even know if this is the actual hurricane itself. There's no wind blowing, just a lot of rain. The lake is at relatively normal levels. There is some flooding across that little, I don't know what the fuck to call it. I've seen that though before the summer when it's just raining. This is definitely moving though. This is a bit more flooded. No gators out here. I do have a gun. And no, I'm not going to shoot the fucking hurricane. Eh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Don't know if it's out of the ordinary or if this is actually part of the whole it's getting wet out there. Should be fun. It's about 7.30 right now. It's been raining since about 4.30. This might be a real storm right now. Okay, it's about 9.30 on Friday, September 8th right now. It rained a lot earlier today, but now the rain has kind of subsided. I think that was just a little taste. That wasn't a normal rainstorm. But, uh, yeah, it's been getting more fun.
All right, guys, it's uh, Saturday, September 9th, 2017. Uh, I slept like shit this morning at about 6 o'clock in the morning. I got one of those emergency messages on my phone saying a hurricane is coming. Did you know that a hurricane is coming? Ah, fuck you. I usually have my phone on silent so it doesn't wake me up, but I have it on volume now because I might need it to wake me up. And it woke me up to let me know there's a hurricane coming. I'm walking the dog right now. And, well, I went to walk him a little bit earlier because I wanted to make sure he went to the restroom before I left. And he, uh, it just, right as I stuck my head outside, it started fucking raining. I was like, oh, come on. This isn't even the storm yet. This is just rain. Yeah. Still have work tonight. No idea what that's going to entail. Yeah, I'm in neither. A lot of work trucks coming up and down the drive right now. All emergency vehicles and whatnot made for uh, the hurricane. Coming on out here for that. Today, uh, should be getting out soon enough. Not entirely sure, I'm just really hoping they don't ask me to go to the airport to pick up the national card. Really don't want that. Um, I am kind of hungover. I'm gonna go home and really get drunk tonight. I just got a little buzzy last night. But I did it right before bed, so that was stupid of me. The storm shit hit tomorrow. Today I've been at work, only seeing a lot of trucks moving in. Um, a lot of emergency vehicles, even boats. They have boats just to pick people up out of their own fucking houses. This is gonna be interesting. Starting to rain really heavily. Uh, the winds have kicked up. We can't see it right now, but it's been pretty calm all day. The winds have started to really kick up. The water level is rising. I'm not gonna be out for too long. There's a curfew in effect starting about half an hour. And when that goes, I'm done. I'm, I'm done for the night. I'm staying in. You see that table? I was standing next to that when I filmed these videos before the storm hit. I was standing next to a table that's now under water. I think we got about eight or nine feet of rain. This whole thing is just flooded. Water's moving everywhere. Last night was pretty rough. There's the other table. I don't think I showed that one, but there it is. Both those tables were waist high on gr dry ground, six feet above the water. Just think about that for a second. You can't see the grass or any of the, the like, what the fuck are those things called? Lotus leaves or whatever out there. It's all underwater now.
the water there is about waist high or so. This used to be a tennis court. It's about a foot of water in it now. At one point in the hurricane, Irma was a Category 5, and we can down to Category 2, and then it became a Category 3 or 4, depending where you were, when it made landfall in Florida. It hit the Keys on the south end very, very hard, but it hit the mainland Central Florida area, where I was, pretty hard, but not as hard. This is one of the drains that feeds into the bayou right here. There's another one up ahead. We're not going to go all that far, because I do have my doggy with me. I'm just going to stop here and talk for a second. The reason why we're bringing up the bayous here in Texas is, well, when I live here now instead of in Florida, but two, also, when Hurricane Irma hit, it was only about a week after Hurricane Harvey had hit Texas. When Irma hit, it was one of the most powerful that ever hit Florida. It's also the last time I really filmed anything on my camera before pretty much putting it away, like I said. But it was so monumentally huge and historically huge it was the first time in history Disney had ever shut down for a hurricane. In fact, when Hurricane Matthew had hit, uh, which I did survive, <laughs> I say survive, it wasn't that big of a deal. When Hurricane Matthew hit Florida, Disney just had its had its people, its uh, guests, shelter in place and then got them back out of there. But when Hurricane Irma hit, it was one of the biggest that ever, ever hit Florida in its history or known history. Caused mil just I think billions and billions of dollars of damage, like the sixth um, most damaging in American history. Numerous people died down in South Florida because of carbon monoxide poisoning. People seriously bring their generators inside or they cook inside with, over like charcoal grills and they choke themselves out. It's not very brilliant. Don't do that shit. And just remember though, after it hit, the sheer amount of water, everywhere was flooded. Places that we had walked before were now completely underwater. Places that I drove through were blocked off due to flood water. There was debris everywhere because it's taking so long to get everything cleaned up. Now I'm thinking about restarting my vlog and doing what I was doing beforehand. Even though it wasn't really successful, I made like over 100 videos and didn't even have that many subscribers. One of the reasons why I'm doing this, and I'll go into this later on in depth, I'm kind of miserable right now. <laughs> I moved to Houston last year and I haven't done shit. I've just worked. I just go to work and walk my dog eat and that's about it. Partially I need a creative outlet but also I need a reason to go out and do things. I need a reason to go and just explore. Might as well put it on video. Might as well make a, a document of it. You know, get out there and enjoy myself. Just kind of get out of my own shell and this is a way to do it. 